Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to show you how to clone an M.2 disk with this genius. This is a companion video to a review we've done with Fang Sheng SSDs. By the way, we have not used Disk Genius before to clone a disk, and uh, they've paid us nothing. So again, if you have any uh, use for this video, thumbs up would be appreciated. So the first thing we have to do is plug it in. And to do that, we need an M.2 USB kit. Uh, and you can see here, there's all kinds of them. If you just grab one off of um, uh, Amazon, you can see that they range from, you know, 20 bucks to uh, pretty much whatever you want to spend. They just go up. So uh, just buy the cheapest one you can. It's probably all you need. And we're going to use this one that we bought a bunch of years ago. Bingo. Okay, so we're just going to take our USB and plug it in. Downloaded Disk Genius already, but you can just Google it if you don't already have it. It's pretty straightforward. It's totally free. Uh, I know we go to Tools and Clone Disk. This will not show up, by the way, if you only have one disk installed. We have one disk in the unit and we have one disk on the USB as we've just shown you. So let's clone the disk. So, yep, we'd like to clone this you know, two terabyte uh, to the four terabyte. So the source is two, click on that. And this tells us up, oh, we should be using system migration. Do you want to migrate system right now? Yes, we do. And we want to target it to the four terabyte drive. And when we're done, I want to use it all. Set target disk to boot system via USB. No, because we're going to actually physically swap it out. Prevent sleep, yes, start. Warning, everything on the target will be overwritten. Are you sure? Yes. And this tells you you've got two choices. You can run a hot migration, which is running the disk copy with the system running. And if you do that, you better turn everything off, your antivirus, everything else. The best way to go is to reboot to PE. Windows PE, by the way, is the pre-execution environment. And because that's certainly going to work, and it's not as much fun to watch, we're going to choose hot migration. So let's go turn everything off. Off real-time protection, which it will hate. Let's run hot migrate. And we'll be back when it's done. So we have disassembled it. By the way, we have a full video on how to disassemble this particular unit, this HP 27 inch all in one. Put a link in the top right hand corner if you'd like. And now we're going to do it again with the Windows PE version where it's going to reboot and start a whole temporary operating system. Disk Genius, uh, running Windows PE, ran uh, substantially faster than running through hot copy. It took about an hour and a quarter for it to copy one and a half terabytes from this very machine uh, using the hot copy method. And it took about 50 minutes, that's five zero, uh, copying it through the Windows PE method. But both of them uh, booted, came up, Windows was activated, everything was happy. So I'm pretty happy with Disk Genius as a disk clone tool that is completely free. It worked without any problems. So hey, if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urteth.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.